Hello, my name is Teacher Sylvia with Options for Learning, and today's story is titled Skip Through the Seasons. This story is written by Stella Blackstone and written by Maria Carluccio. And if we look at the cover, we see an indicator of what the seasons are. Uh, we see two children, and do they look like they're dressed the same or differently? Different, right? She's got a top, shorts, and sandals, and when do we wear that? Usually when it's hot, summertime. And here we have a child with a coat, some boots, some mittens, um, things, articles of clothes that we wear when it's winter and it's cold. We see the sun, we see a butterfly, some leaves, some snowflakes, and some flowers growing. So a little bit of each season there. So let's skip through the seasons together. Jump into January, come along with me. The local pond is glazed with ice, what can you see? So take a look there. We see um, people are wearing coats, indicating it's cold. Uh, this is the pond and it's frozen. The pond is water, so it's frozen. So people are skating. They use the skates. Um, those are a winter activity that you can do. We also see people wearing scarves and hats to protect themselves from the cold. Here we see somebody playing hockey with a hockey stick and a hockey puck. We see trees with some white on it, indicating some snow. We see a dog walking around. What else do we see? We see um, the house in the back. We see smoke coming out of the chimney, indicating that there's a fire inside. There's a fireplace, um, and the fire helps to keep us warm. Okay, so what month comes after January? February, and February is still winter time. Uh, so let's fly into February. Come along with me. The hillside glistens white with snow. What can you see? So here we see someone with skis. Um, that's a winter sport, and this, they use the skis to go down the slopes. This is called the slope of a mountain, um, and they ski down. Here we have a sled. We have the ski poles. We see a tree with a, a bird in its nest and a rabbit. Are there any leaves on the tree? No, there's just piles of snow on there that collected when it was falling from the sky. We also see a snowman. People are dressed in their coats, their hats, trying to keep warm. Okay, after February, we have March. Whirl into March, come along with me. The wind is whistling down the street. What can you see? So March time is when spring begins, and it's very windy. So the wind allows us to fly something like this gentleman is here. He's flying a kite. Kites are very light. They're made out of paper or plastic. Um, so he's just enjoying himself with the kite there. Has a string so the kite doesn't fly away. Uh, we also see people with maybe not heavy coats, but light jackets. They're wearing scarves. We see people playing frisbee outside. Someone's enjoying a bike ride outdoors. We see um, the clothes hanging on the line. Some people use a dryer to dry their clothes and others like to hang them out to dry. Anything else we see? We see cars driving past the houses. Uh, we see some dogs playing out there and we see some plants growing. So after the month of March we experience um, still it's spring and it's April. Splash into April, come along with me. The first spring rains are sweet and warm. What can you see? So April has rainy showers, and so we see umbrellas to protect ourselves from the rain, a raincoat. We see puddles of water collecting as it's pouring down. Uh, we see a boat in the water there. We see children playing. They have their coats, their rain boots, and some rain hats. We see someone indoors. We see cars driving by. What else can you see? We see some people indoors and some are enjoying a walk. Usually the rain is just very quick, very light in spring. Um, they pass by pretty quickly. Okay, so let's move into May. Come along with me. It's time to make our gardens grow. What can you see? So we see here a lot of gardens, right? A lot of different gardens and people are tending to their gardens, taking care of them. We see somebody here watering her plants. Um, plants need water to grow just like we do. We see a woman here with a rake, raking up the area where she has her, her plants um, planted. 
we see a gentleman here with a wagon. It's, he's helping to transport his pots. He's um, going to probably transplant those plants into the ground, into his garden. What else do we see? We see, uh, here's a sprinkler. Maybe some of you, when you water your grass, use a sprinkler to water the grass and feed it. We see an, oh, another woman with some seeds and she's tending to her plants. Here's another woman with a bucket. Maybe she's feeding the plants here with some fertilizer. This woman here is wearing an apron. What do you think an apron does? It's covering her dress so that she doesn't get dirty. Yeah. And we see all the flowers growing. Have you ever planted a garden? Do you have any flowers? We, we could see a lot of them in May time in the spring when they come out. Race into June, come along with me. It's so much fun to eat outdoors. What can you see? So in June is when we begin um, when we begin summertime. And so if we're looking at what they're wearing, do you think it's cold or warm in the summer? We see shorts, we see dresses and skirts. So we wear those when it's warm outside. So everybody's outdoors, enjoying themselves. Here we have a group of people having a picnic. We see a picnic basket filled with food. He's eating some bread. She's waving hi to everybody. He's relaxing in the sun. It's a nice day outside. Here we have a group of people eating together, enjoying a meal. And we have some children um, playing some sports. We have someone riding a bike, someone using a scooter and a skateboard, enjoying the day outdoors. And here we have a girl on a swing. So outdoor activities we could do when the weather is nice and warm. Uh, we get to play outside um, and have some fun. So let's see what month comes after June. Jive into July. Come along with me. The fair is full of games and rides. What can you see? So July is still summertime when it's a warm weather. And what do we see? We see a Ferris wheel. Have you ever been on one of those? They're pretty fun. They go up really high and they go around and around. Um, and to get on the Ferris wheel, we see a ticket booth. He's selling tickets so that you can get on the rides, or you can get on the bumper cars, or the carousel, or merry-go-round, as some call it. Here we see a vendor selling what's called cotton candy. He's spinning the sugar there, and um, when he spins the sugar, it turns into cotton candy. It's a very light, fluffy treat. Some of you may have had it. It's very sweet and delicious. Here we have ice cream. Ice cream, um, some people tend to eat in the summertime. Um, when it's really warm to cool down. We see a child with balloons. What else do we see? We see a juggler outdoors. We see games to play. We see dogs and we see families outdoors. Okay, let's see what's next. Sail into August. Come along with me. The sand is soft. The sea is warm. What can you see? Well, it's still summertime here. And here we see the beach and we see the ocean. Um, and what do we see? Well, take a look. People are wearing their bathing suits. It's nice and warm outside. Um, we have an umbrella for shade. She's maybe reading, has a sunscreen. He's wearing flippers and a snorkel indicating he's going into the water. He's going to maybe collect some things with that bucket. We see somebody building sandcastles back there with their bucket. We see a crab. Crabs live by the ocean. They like the warm weather. And let's take a look in the water. We see a fisherman here fishing for fish. We see somebody swimming, somebody on that surfboard, which is similar to a skateboard. Skateboards you use on the concrete. Surfboard you can use to ride the waves um, in the water. Uh, here we see sailboats. We see somebody with a beach ball. What else do we see? We see a hammock and someone laying down. It's like a bed that you tie between the two trees. And this person's relaxing, looks like they're reading. Have you been to the beach before? What activities do you do? Any of these here? Slide into September, come along with me. It's time to go to school again. What can you see? Well, we see a bus with the bus driver and children coming out of the bus. We see backpacks, we see balls. We see um, people playing here, hopscotch, hula hoops. We see a teacher. Here's the classroom. Someone's playing football. Someone's enjoying the outdoor playground with the slide. And here's the school. 
So September usually marks the beginning of school for many children, um, and some children go to school year-round. Twirl into October, come along with me. The orchard trees are full of fruit, what can you see? October, we experience the season of fall. And what do you think an orchard is? Let me give you another clue. The orchard trees are full of fruit. So it is um, a place where there are many fruit trees grown. Sometimes nuts, like walnuts and almonds, are also grown in an orchard. Uh, but this is a fruit orchard, so we see trees with fruit in it. And here we have a woman collecting, looks like apples in her basket. We have a little girl on a tire swing enjoying the day outside. Um, look at their clothes. They have light sweaters indicating it's, you know, a little bit chilly, but not cold enough to wear a jacket. We see a sheep grazing on the grass. Somebody's riding a donkey. And we have other people here collecting fruit. She climbed the ladder to get to the top of the tree since it's high up. She's using her pail to collect her plums. Here we have a gentleman with his fruit with a cat standing on his wagon. So the wagon helps him tra transport all that fruit from one place to another. Maybe he's going to take it in indoors to the, maybe they might have a store into a house. We see some pumpkins. This woman's collecting her apples in her basket. She can reach. It's a shorter tree if you compare it to the others. This little girl looks like she's catching or tossing an apple there. And she's got the basket. Have you been to an orchard before? Have you ever collected any fruit, any apples? It's a lot of fun. Sweep into November, come along with me. The leaves are dancing as they fall. What can you see? So we're still experiencing the season of fall here. And what do you see? We see all the leaves falling from the tree. And what color are those leaves? We see brown, we see orange, yellow, some are green, some are red. And they're wearing sweaters again. It's not cold enough for a jacket, but they have their sweaters on. We see someone indoors with the piano. There's the cat. Here we have a birdhouse. What else can we find? We see uh, somebody is sweeping. And we see a bonfire. We see him with the rake, raking up the leaves. Making, and this child is jumping through a pile of leaves. What else do you see? We see a tree house, and we see different types of trees. Okay, what month comes after November, do you know? It's December. Dance into December, come along with me. Let's celebrate the turning year and everything we see. So what do we see here? We see people, looks like they are spending time together, enjoying their time, celebrating maybe. We see streamers. We see stockings and candy canes. We see musicians. We see a drummer and a saxophonist um, playing music. So some people are dancing, enjoying the music. We see some cupcakes, some something to drink. We see a poinsettia plant. We see, ooh, we see some cakes here and maybe some cookies on there. And we see other people here enjoying themselves. Looks like they're drinking some juice or something and having some bread spending time together. Um, we see a tree that's decorated and we see some gifts. And December is the last month of the year um, and that's when we experience winter. Um, and that's it. Hopefully you like the story and thank you. I'll see you next time.